I'm going to be talking to you about self-healing systems. And I'll be talking about the system that my roommates use to come out This is our house. There's six of us that live in this house, and we've lived there for the last four and a half years. And we struggled, uh, and have struggled for a long time, just keeping it clean. Right? As you would imagine, with six people. Um, this was very often the scene that we came out to. All guys, I assume. Uh, there's one girl. <laughs> uh, occasionally more if, if they're dating. So, yeah. uh, and so how did this happen? You guys can probably guess. Hey, it's actually <laughs> so, uh, you know, somebody was late to work, they couldn't do their dishes. Um, somebody else had time to do their dishes, didn't have time to clean up the dishes that were in the sink. By that evening, you have something looks starting to look like that. Next day, you have this. So this sucks. We hated it. And we tried lots of different systems to fix it, and none of them worked um, for years, literally. Uh, we tried, you know, clean up your own stuff. We tried, uh, I'll be responsible for this room, you'll be responsible for that room. Uh, different people would be responsible for different areas. We tried buddy systems, nothing. Um, and this is our current system, um, and it's actually been working for the last eight months, which is wow. crazy. The other systems worked for, at most, two or three weeks. So this system uh, has the roommates at the top, they're South Park characters. On the left, those are the days of the week. And uh, the things on there, it's, it's magnetic. So the things on there are just chores. Chores is uh, five to 10 minutes at most. And we all expect ourselves to do about two a day. As you can see, we don't usually do two a day, but, um, well, I'll get to that. <laughs> so uh, this system is super, super simple, right? So that's the first thing that, that we brought out of it. I just explained the entire system to you. That, that was it. There's nothing else. There's no incentives or punishments. Um, just, just what you just said. Uh, unlike the other systems, all the systems that I listed um, before that we used uh, expected people to, to behave like adults to do what they're supposed <laughs> to do, right? All those are used euphemisms for saying uh, we expected the system before to operate at 100% efficiency, which is crazy. So um, these systems are systems dealing with people. People have, uh, they fluctuate. They're, uh, Lean calls it statistical fluctuation. Um, the old systems would accumulate that fluctuation and yield the kitchen that you saw earlier. Uh, this system doesn't actually require that. This system, we, we expect each other to do uh, two chores a day. That's 10 to 20 minutes at, at most. 10 minutes, really, usually. And uh, typically we get about, we average one a day. Uh, with a little bit less than one, we have a clean-ish house. With two a day, we have an immaculate house. We never actually get the immaculate house, but a clean house, we're okay with. So by having slack in there and reasonable goals, we actually do pretty well. The next thing is heroes. So the old system did work occasionally. What would happen is somebody would get fed up. They'd go into the kitchen. They'd start bitching. They'd, they'd have all these stories in their head about how they're the only person that cleans the house, and it's everybody else's fault, and they'd clean it. And that would happen a couple times a week and led to a lot of bad feeling. Um, and you probably see this at your projects at work, I would imagine. Um, so, so heroes are terrible. They actually lead to, uh, well, they, what they do is they, they mask the problem. So uh, I've heard Jim say, if you want to find the problems in an organization, look, look for the heroes. Um, and in this system also, there, there are no heroes. So what will happen, you can see right here, Dan did a ton of chores there. He did twice the number of chores that he had to do on front on. Monday, but he doesn't really feel like a hero because he still hasn't done, he's averaging about what he should do that week, even though they clustered here and they clustered there. And it looks good for everyone else, um, but he's being a good roommate, he's not being a hero, which is different. Because when you're a hero, you kind of feel a little bit like a martyr, you feel like the world's not really fair. Um, and so the next thing was just making work visible, right? So here, I can look really quickly at this chart and see who's doing what. Am I pulling my weight? Am I doing more than everybody else? I can go into the kitchen really quick and say, wow, it's a total pigsty. Whose fault is it? And I very quickly see that I haven't done enough chores this week, and I put my 10 minutes in, and I call it good. Um, and this system encourages self-organization, partly because of the visibility. Like Jim said earlier, um, the visibility, visibility lets us each do what needs to get done for the house. But also because we're not enforcing um, anybody to do any particular thing. So if I really like sweeping, as opposed to washing dishes, I never have to touch a dish. I just do all my chores here, and other people pick up the, the dishes. Um, 
And last but not least, um, the system builds in forgiveness. So um, at the end of each week, we just take everything down, and we're done. Um, we don't keep track of that. We don't remember who, which remains were good and which remains were bad. If, if I had an off week, I was just going through some stuff for whatever reason, I didn't do a single chore. The next week, I have a chance to be a good roommate. So this system really appeals to the best of people, and we've seen, we've gotten that back. So that's my talk. Thank you.